Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality, and today I want to show you how I made this cute little shaker booklet tag pocket little thing that I put into my Halloween junk journal. And I showed you my junk journal yesterday, so I will put the link for that down below so you can uh, check out that video. But I made this one for that. And it's a cute little book. You can put a picture here. There's a tag that pops out here. You can put a picture on the back here. And then I just decorated it with some of my paper and some ribbons and things. So I wanted to go ahead and make one for my fall junk journal. So I have my envelope here. It's already been dyed. I used orange Kool-Aid to dye this. So it's just like barely orange, not even really, but it's not white anyway, so it'll go well with the fall. I have the fall uh, hot buy from Michaels this year. I have some sequins, some little gold leaves, so I'm going to use that for the shaker part, and then I have a couple different ribbons. These are from Walmart. And then I have this twine that's from the Target dollar spot, and these were from the Target dollar spot. I have my glue, I have scissors, and I have a stapler. And I'm doing it with a stapler this time just to show you that you can do it without a sewing machine. On this one, I used a sewing machine. I sewed the little booklet in here and I sewed my ribbon and stuff and sewed the shaker card together. So I wanted to show you how you can do it without using a sewing machine because I know not everyone has a sewing machine. So let's get things cleared off here and we will get started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is take your envelope and fold it not quite halfway, but so there's about a half an inch left on one side because you want a nice little frame around here for your shaker. So fold it and then on the crease you want to cut from the edge of the open the flap on the envelope down to the where it starts the top of the envelope here just like this. And then you will want to go ahead and put a little strip of glue right in the crease there in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you'll want to let that dry. Set that aside here for a sec. Um, you can also go ahead and put glue on the shorter side, the side that does not have the window. Put glue on the flap and glue that in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just like that, and then your pocket is ready to go. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and choose a decoration for the front. I have these little cutouts that are part of the Happy Fall collection. So, I have this ribbon, so let me see what I like here. I think I'm going to use this little So Foxy. I think that's really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And I also want to pick a piece to go underneath, either the ribbon or the paper. Let's see here.
I think I like that. And then I want to take a little piece of this. We're going to need a little side piece, but not this one. I think I'll use this orange. When we staple the little booklet together, we'll want to have a piece to cover the staples up. So I'm going to just cut a little piece off. And I think I'll go ahead and tear it off so it makes it a little bit, I don't know, I just like that look of the torn paper. Straighten it up a bit here. I actually think I want to incorporate this. Plaid in there. Let's go ahead and tear another piece here. A little bit wider, so Sorry, my doggy is watching me craft here. <coughs> All right, so I tore this little piece here from the plaid and I'm gonna glue that down here, but first I want to assemble my little book and my shaker first and then do the decorating, so. This isn't quite dry, so I'll go ahead and make my tag to go in so that there's this really cute, I think I want to use that Autumn Fun one right here. go in there and then I want to cover I put another something here let's see I have this right here I'm gonna cut this down Some papers that I want in my little book. I'll go ahead and use the ones I've already used and then I have this pretty floral leaf and acorn pattern. So these will be, I'll just use three and I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna go ahead and use my paper trimmer on this one, on this part. I'm going to cut them at three by three and a half. All right, now I want to go ahead and put in my sequins for my shaker, little shaker pocket. So I have these brown, I have little leaves, scrolled leaves, and some like copper colored little circle glittery chunky glitter I guess so 
now we can go ahead and glue this down and we want to do it like right on the edge here so you still the shaker parts can still move around up in there And then I'm going to go ahead and cut a little square here to glue down and cover that. And then I have this really pretty ribbon that I picked up that I want to put on the top. And I think I may add another tag from my happy fall paper pad so when you have the inside decorated the way that you want it so you want to line your papers up in the middle and then I'm going to put three staples in here and go in about a quarter of an inch so you can catch the papers in there so now you have three little cards in there and so I want to cover this up because I don't like that so I have my piece that I already cut out or tore I'm going to go ahead and finish decorating this part. Because I have this little strip over here, here, it seemed kind of empty down at this corner. So here's another piece of the fall paper here. I cut out the little fox and I'm going to glue him right down here. And I think my little shaker pocket envelope thing is just about done here. So there's, there's the front. It's a nice little shaker. Not quite dry. But then there's the little pocket, um, the little booklet here. You can put... Uh, journaling and pictures all throughout here on the back sides as well and then there's a little journaling tag or a picture that can be put on the back and then this will just slide into a belly band or a pocket inside your journal so if you like this give me a thumbs up leave me a comment and subscribe and i'll see you again next time this is kim with creative practicality bye god bless